Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to import the Google Map 3D models into iCron 8.1 to make them become props and terrains in your iCron 8.1 3D animation software. You can see this is the Google Map and now almost all the cities of the Google Map 3D already have the 3D models of all the buildings and how are we going to capture all of this 3D buildings into your iClones 8.1 3D animation software. Start from now, I'm going to show you step by step. Alright, first you have to scroll down, go to my video descriptions, get the Google Map 3D Grabble. Once you download it, it is a zip folder, it is a zip file, you have to extract it into your computer. And once you extract it already, First, you have to install the render.1.13 into your computer. This is Microsoft Windows 10. And then you have to install the Google Chrome browser as well. Once everything ready, then you have to close all the browser and start the render dot. Start the render dot like this. First click file, then inject into process. Here you type Chrome. Right. Once you type Chrome already, just stand by here. Next, start the Google Chrome by using my Google Chrome render dot shortcut. This is the shortcut that provided by me. If you open it, it is totally blank like this with a conversation and the Google Chrome totally blank, it is normal. Back to your render dot version 1.13, you refresh here. You should be able to see the Google Chrome GPU. Click on that, click inject. Then back to here, click OK. Now you can see your Google Chrome already activated with the render dot shortcut. You, you should be able to see the white text with black background. And here you can enter the Google Maps. To enter the Google Map, you can type maps.google.com. Then it will enter the Google Map. And the first step, what you are going to do is click here to activate the satellite layer and click more to make sure you activate the globe view. The globe view activated, then you should be able to see the 3D. Then you go to any of the cities that, that Google Map 3D already available. Just have a check. Now you can see this Singapore city, the 3D Google Map already available. So I can capture any of the territory, any of the terrain from here. Let's say if I want to have this, this area, then, let's say if I want to have these three buildings like this, switch it back to 2D. Then, back to your render dot here. The capture after delay you set as 5 seconds. Right, now, click capture after delay, back to your map and use your left click to move it and keep on dragging like this until you can see how many frames capture at the top here. One capture safe. Then back to your Google, back to your render dot version 1.13. It is already here. So next you have to right click and save this 3D models at here as RDC file. As demo, I will save it as on my desktop, create a new folder on my desktop and I will name this at, according to the area Singapore. Zero one, enter. The file name, I will name this as Singapore. Zero ones. The RDC file. This is a 3D model, but you cannot open by using the icon. To open by using the icon, before that, you need to have my Google Map 3D Grabble just now. Alright, now, open the Google Map 3D Grabble. You can see a Blender 3.0 that provided by me inside the folder. It already contains a Google Map importer for the RDC file. This is the RDC file. The plugin already pre-installed here, so you just need to activate it immediately. Open the Blender 3.0 that provided by me. Open it. First step, just delete everything. And then click Edit Preferences. From here, under the add-on, you have to search map, M-A-P, map. 
then you should be able to see the maps model importer you have to make sure you tick to activate it and close it now your blender 3.0 already can import the rdc file click file import the rdc the google maps capture rdc file is already here it is on my desktop singapore 01 i will import the singapore 01.rdc into my blender that's the first step so once you imported, it will show not responding. You just need to be patient and wait for a while. It is normal to show not responding. You need to wait about one minute. Now it is importing the RDC file. You have to be patient. Do not close it. Do not, do not shut down the blender yet. Just wait until, until the Singapore city appear at here. Now you can see it already imported into the blender and this is really these are really 3d meshes so now just have a look the first what you are going to do is just select everything you can see it it is multiple meshes just press ctrl j to make it combine to become a single mesh done then you activate the the texture here now you can see this is really the google map 3d that's the whole territory already imported into the blender from the blender you can just uh, you can just export as fbx file the first step here export the sbx export as fbx file into the same folder first copy this destination location Control c to copy then click file, export FBX. Here, control V, press enter. You are going to export it into, into these locations. To export the FBX file, the path mode you have to choose copy. And here, you have to highlight it. And the file name, I will just name it same as just now, Singapore 01. I click export FBX. Now, it exported as FBX file. It is here. If you double click to open by using the Microsoft Windows 10, it is going to open by using the 3D Viewer. So now you can see this is really the 3D territory of part of the Singapore with the river with a with a bridge at here. Now this is an FBX file. You can easily import it into the icon. Alright, now I close this. I close the blender as well without saving. Now this is my icon 8. So from the from the folder, the Singapore 01 is at here. The FBX file I just need to drag in. Drag and drop into the icon 8. Now it is importing the FBX file. Just wait for a while. Now you can see it really imported into the icon, icon 8 3D animation software. So now you are going to do some adjustments because it is, it is below the grids. So make sure you double click to select it already. Click here and scroll down. Make sure the pivot is at the bottom like this, bottom center. Then next you scroll up click zero out now it appear at the center already of course if you imported the fbx file this is a prop you can save it as a prop just go to the custom here click click here the sets custom prop double click in the prop folder click save 
The file name you can just name this as Singapore 01 save. Now it is saving saving a new prop and this prop you can repeated use and you can share with your friend as well. This is the, the Singapore cities prop like this. And it is really easy to import the Google Map 3D into your iClone 8 3D animation software by using this way. Alright, that's all for today about my sharing and tutorial on how to import the Google Map 3D into iClone 8.1 3D animation software. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you love my video tutorial, if you feel all these tutorials are very helpful to your 3D modeling, 3D animation and game developing, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the mini bell and select all so that when next time I publish a new video tutorial or sharing, you receive a notification immediately. See you in my next video. Enjoy. Happy 3D animation, 3D modeling and game developing. See you.